let's go a little bit more into detail on what I want your uh, drawing template to look like. So here I have a nice thick green border going around the outside edge. I'm going to switch to my title block layer using my two point rectangle tool. And I'm going to make a couple of boxes for different things like your name and who it was checked by, scale, sheet, date, things like that. Uh, so let's make a drawn by box. And we're going to use our at symbol to give it a relative coordinate of 2.35 in the x direction and 0.25 in the y direction. We'll make another rectangle that attaches to that. It's going to be at 2.3 in the x, 0.25 in the y. All of these are going to be 0.25 in the y, regardless of what you see or hear me type. Uh, we're going to have another one that's at 2.3 with the X. This is going to be at 1.2 with your X dimension. And I'm not going to bother to measure this last one. I'm going to start at this other corner and go over and up. And let's make another layer of boxes on top. This one's going to be for our high school's name. So I'm going to type in an at symbol. And uh, let's go 3.75 in the x direction. 0.25 in the y. I'll repeat the rectangle, but this time I know where I want it to start and stop. Likewise for the last two. Perfect. This is exactly what it should look like. I'm going to go to uh, multi line text. This seems very large. I'm not quite sure why it's that large. Um, I'm going to type in text size to resize our text. And it looks like it wants my text size to be one and a half inches tall, and that seems awfully large. So I'm going to change that to uh, match the size of the boxes, which is 0.25. Actually, I'll make it slightly smaller in the boxes. We'll make it 0.2. Go back to your multi-line text again. Click the two corners of your box. And let's go and type in uh, Burlington. Oh, you know what? Let's make sure we move the text to the title block lettering and not the the other. So now that that is on title block lettering, let's switch everything to the title block lettering layer and continue typing things in. Um, switch back to your multi-line text corner to corner, DR for drawn by, this is still looking awfully large, let's try modifying the text one more time, type in text size, and uh, let's go for 0.15 instead, and hopefully this will look a lot nicer. Ah, oh, I can actually fit in Burlington High School. That looks a lot nicer. Let's try that again. And we'll type in uh, DR for drawn. By. I'll leave a space for your name. In the real world, anytime that you'd make a drawing, uh, you need to be checked by somebody. So we're making a box for checked by. And let's make just a couple more. For 
this box here, we'll say sheet. And if you had multiple sheets, you would say one of two, one of three, one of four, whatever it may be, so that whoever is reading it would know how many things they're actually looking for. Uh, very important thing to have on here is the scale. And let's have one last box for the assignment. And we'll just shorten that to ASGN. does look like this could use just a little bit of tweaking, so why don't you play around with just dragging and dropping things a bit on your own, and uh, I'll check back with you and see how it looks.